I am. Um, I have the song by Bob Dylan, Blowing in the Wind, stuck in my head. And um, I couldn't remember all of the lyrics. So I went and just listened to the first portion of it. And it says, how many roads must a man walk down before you can call him a man? How many seas must a white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? Yes, how many times the cannonball flies before they're forever bland? But a bland? Band. The answer my dear is blowing in the wind the answer is blowing in the wind there is some question um there's a question and i don't know if it's floating on your tongue or if it's just floating around you or someone else is pondering this but the answer is the same as how long is a piece of string you know the answer is going to be subjective without a doubt there is not one set kind of answer so let's see what we'd like to come out. Um, my name is Bronwyn. This is Bronwyn's Clay of Tarot. It's good to have you here. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in if you are new and welcome back my lovely soul family if you have been here for a while. Um, I'd like to thank those for supporting my channel. I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting Loku's Dog and Cat Care Rescue, which is the GoFundMe that I have pinned down below excuse me thank you to those who have already shown support and if you would like to spread awareness if not donate please can you copy that link and just share it on all of your social media that would be super awesome now um before i move on locus dog and cat care rescue is the only charity in the entirety of the east coast of sri lanka i think that's really important to put in there there are no other charities that are looking at the animals that are just left to be feral and wild go free. You know, they sleep under houses, they sleep on beaches, they um, they get fed when they find food and you will see puppies sleeping on sticks. It's, it's dire. So anyone that would like to be part of this just to help out i'll love you forever and i know that the the charity is well, as well will as well excuse me really can't get my words out okay so i had some other messages on here as well don't stop cleansing do not stop your spiritual cleansing even if other people question it complain about it tell you that it's not healthy there's something here about somebody else wanting you to to conform to something here but that includes removing things that keep you protected in the first place. You've got the devil in reverse. Keep healing. Keep healing, keep healing, keep healing, keep cleansing. Um, inaccurate reads. My throat is really dry though. Something about someone getting inaccurate reads on you. Chaos is knocking on the door. And you're working in silence so they'll try their best to bring the noise and i feel like the chaos is knocking on the door is connecting in with that there so don't stop cleansing they may be trying to get someone here maybe trying to get reads on you or your energy or where you are in your healing journey and you're being told that they're not getting accurate readings the three of cups here they keep getting told that they're going to have some sort of celebration when it comes to your emotions being able to remove something from your balance and it's not it's not happening you've got the four of cups here because you keep dismissing something it may be that you keep ignoring some sort of petty tactic here that song with um bob dylan blowing in the wind if you have not heard this song please go and listen to it it's an old school song it's from the 60s if i remember correctly it is about the vietnam war um and what I'm getting from this alone is that even if chaos does knock at your door, even if people are trying to bring noise or distractions or they're just trying to make things loud, you're being told to block it out. Wear earplugs if it literally is noisy. Um, do not open the door to chaos. Because the thing is as well is that that question of how long is a piece of string, it's almost like, well, how long is this going to go on for? How long is a piece of string? You know, People are going to, there will always be those who do not wish to look within themselves to heal and they want to covet what is others and 
they want to covet what it is that maybe you have been working really hard to achieve in the first place and you've achieved it through not only hard work but pouring within yourself what we see as lack in our life is usually a wound from within right and you're being told not to choose war not to choose chaos not to you know and not to say well how long are they going to be doing this for because they don't hold the power you do they don't hold the power you do now let me move this to the side and let's crack on <coughs> i've got a really tickly throat today well, i'm going to be drinking a lot of water this may also be your um, encouragement to drink water if you have not already and you both want to jump out we have here the queen of cups to the five of wands in reverse you have someone here who um may be waving a white flag you're being asked to not so much you need to wave the white flag but there's a need to continue on the path that you are at the moment of staying very zen and staying very balanced the queen of cups coming out is somebody who is very nurturing this could be a mothering type doesn't have to be but someone who's very caring somebody who um, protects and provides for others as well um the thing is i'm wary about naming this as you or naming this as someone else just yet because a lot of my readings have been coming up recently with the queen of cups upright um in reverse and this person just keeps popping their energy into into these readings the five of wands in reverse is moving away from actual conflict from struggle from strife um can we get some clarity please on who, who's the queen of cups in this scenario you have the ace of pentacles someone that you don't want to invest in someone that you do not want to invest in because not always when they're in the upright does that mean that it is the positive attributes of that card. You have the two of pentacles in reverse. This is someone that you may have already walked away from or someone that you are being told to stay away from. Um, you have the full coming out as well with a new beginning. The two of pentacles is about balance in relationships. It can be seen as romantic relationships. It doesn't have to though. Um there's a lack of this there's a lack of some sort of um balance respect um equality there's something is really off key here or off balance especially with that ace of pentacles this is not investing in people who do not reciprocate the same type of vibes as you and i'm not like your vibes i mean like your frequency where you are in life you know our, our friends the people that we have around us are a representation of how how far we have healed or how far we haven't because you know when, when you look at your friends they are in my opinion this is just my opinion this is not fact they are a mirror or a representation of the best qualities that we hold within ourselves because nobody's going to surround themselves with really crappy friends unless that's how you feel about yourself right this here is um somebody that you wouldn't want to invest in and i don't know if maybe you've already stepped back from this person the five of ones being in reverse is doing so in a non-confrontational way clarity please oh 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 nine of swords has come out we've also got here six of wands to the king of cups interesting so we have a couple we have a couple coming out i cut the deck in the middle and we have the page of pentacles to the empress and the moon underneath there's a lot of jealousy in this relationship someone may drink quite a lot in this relationship or someone goes to the bar or the pub to get away from the other person a lot in the relationship the nine of swords being here is to do with a stress someone here is drinking because they are stressed over a victory that either this queen of cups has got it may be the king of cups stressing about this or they may both be stressing about the fact that someone else here, be that you or someone in the collective, is about to gain a victory. You've been successful in something. The Six of Wands is, I mean, look, everyone is celebrating here. You're about to gain this victory and it's going to really mess something up for them. How and why? Let's figure that out. Now, before I go any further, 
I'm going to be ringing some bells. This is just to cleanse the space around us. If you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listening device in three, two, one. Please, can you pause this video and have a look down below at my legal disclaimers, make yourself very familiar with them. And by playing the rest of this video, you are in agreement with those legal disclaimers um, and that you will abide by them. Perfect. Let's crack on, shall we? Can I get one more for two of pentacles, please, in reverse? Do you want to take this one? Okay. We have the devil here in reverse. The empress is there as well at the bottom of the, the deck. There seems to be almost like um, someone doesn't like that you've healed or someone here doesn't like that there is a person who has moved away from toxic to toxicity. Be that your circle of friends, your family, the certain job that you may have always gone for, the same patterning they're not pleased with this result they're not pleased that you are gaining some sort of you're, you're gaining some sort of recognition as well the devil being here is definitely to do with healing removing addictions removing lack mindset removing you know putting yourself down whatever that may be and the Empress is bringing in a lot of aus auspicious growth, a lot of growth, a lot of grounding, a lot of planting seeds and not just harvesting what you've, you've grown, but harvesting crops, like fields of crops. So this is really big, really big. Let me read this. And it seems like there's, there's readings going on. Someone's, someone wants to read you. It may be a family member. It may be a, about your emotions or about your family. And the Ace of Cups. They want to know about the energy that you're investing into your emotions. What's your mental health like? You've got here the Two of Cups in reverse. So this is somebody who's very upset. Ah, they're reading to see whether or not you have healed from something that they may have done. The High Priestess to the Moon. Okay, so they may not, have, may not have known that you are a high priest or high priestess. They may have um, only just figured this out now. Someone in their family or someone in your family is only figuring that out now. Why is that important? You have here the ten of wands. Because whatever this victory is for you or this victory is for the collective... It's really putting, it's placing the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups in a really difficult position, a really difficult situation. Three of Wands, where there is no expansion, where something is not going forward for them, top or bottom, top or, or side, I mean. Okay. You have the Five of Wands to the Nine of Swords. So this is somebody who is worrying because they didn't, they didn't do something here. One second. Five of Wands in reverse. This is a lack of confrontation. A lack of, you know, bumping heads. And then you have the Nine of Swords. This, this is like a worry about not... Ah, it's a worry about not, like, confronting. They didn't confront someone here. The Three of Wands in reverse. Somebody wants to speak to you. Or they want to speak to someone in the collective. Like, why don't you want to go forward with them? Why don't you want to work with them? Why don't you want to expand with them? You have the other six of cups in reverse. Because something else has come, come up. Or some other opportunity has made its way to your door. Or is going to make its way to your door. And there was an intention by someone here to stop you from having that or to make you feel like that was not an interest to you because the ace of pentacles in reverse is a lack of interest right or a lack of wanting to place your time effort love money whatever it may be into planting and planting this thing you have the king of wands underneath as a clarifier you have the six of wands which is celebration and victory have the six of cups in reverse so this is an actual victory that's coming in very very soon king of wands very soon this is a creative um 
it could be a creative leadership role or you could have somebody who is just very in innovative that's coming in that wants to work with you wishes to share something with you um what's the victory about the victory is a new beginning it's a complete and utter new beginning we have here the fall right next to it following up is the five of pentacles in reverse now the fall is zero for a reason it's a reset that's wiping the slate clean starting anew starting afresh starting in a different direction i heard and i'm putting this down on the fourth row which is the two of pentacles in reverse to the devil this is healing toxicity healing unbalanced dynamics i heard it's a lot of growth and then we have here the five of pentacles in reverse next to the empress whatever this opportunity is whoever this king of wands is that's rushing in this person is bringing with them um opportunities for you to grow in finance for you to sit on a throne of some sort to really be seen this is not just like pull up a table at the round pull up pull up a, a chair at the round table this is sit at the head of the round table right next to merlin because that is not a chair that's a throne tell me about the ten of wands please the king and queen of cups and the ten of wands in reverse i can't take that many that's too many i'll just take the one off the top okay so they're watching they're watching something unfold here this they're watching something unfold um we have the empress and the emperor coming out with the empress in reverse This is someone viewing and watching things spiral out of control while growth is coming in. Yeah, they're, re they're really stressed out. Someone here is really stressed out that they didn't, they weren't more confrontational. That they weren't, what, ruder or meaner or that they didn't say something. That they didn't say something. Ace of Swords is coming out. And they're, they're, it's stuck in their mind. I feel like it's this king of cups they wish that they had said something to who to you to this queen of cups they wish that they'd moved away that they had they had sailed onto easier and calmer waters tell me about the ace of pentacles in reverse to the six of wands to the six of cups the magician yeah someone here may have turned down um an offer of some sort ace of pentacles is in reverse Someone here is kicking themselves. Oh, it's the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is kicking themselves because they did not invest in something here. They thought there was some sort of surefire. They thought that they had a surefire, tight, like tight lid alibi, whatever, airtight alibi or idea. And you've got the King of Cups here in reverse. They thought that they would be able to get something. What was it that they wanted? What was it? What is this new beginning? What is this new beginning? Knight of Pentacles just threw itself out to the Nine of Pentacles underneath. Wow, to the Ace of Wands. This is a dream come true for someone. This is absolute and total independence when it comes to finances. This is something that has been building for a very long time because the, the tortoise is the one that wins the race between the tortoise and the hare, right? Because the hare gets so cocky and so you know arrogant that it takes a rest and it sleeps and the tortoise is able to slowly and steadily plod along and get across that finish line before the hare even knows what's happened. Um, this is stating, and look at that, look what's right next to it, the hare. <laughs> hair is right there so someone here is kicking themselves for not investing in something they may be seeing oh they may be seeing some some sort of payout is coming and they're stressing out they may have been offered something and they said no because they thought that they were going to be able to finish get to the finish line before you they were going to be able to get to an interview, get to a job, get to an opportunity to career up level before you. They may have been offered a smaller role 
or something not as sparkly and, and jazz uh, i'm hearing and um, like dazzling as what it is that's coming towards you and they turned it down and now both of these people are stressing out big time because they i don't know what it is about this finances that they need so desperately but they're them watching you about to finish this cross line this finish line in a slow manner and just like taking your time listening to god to divine source just you know really following your intuition and doing it by yourself without a leg up without because there's two people here there's two people and they're both g-u-n-ing towards some opportunity that's yours there is something that you're going to write. I know that this is about, the Ace of Wands is about an actionable step, right? I feel like somebody is going to um, get in contact with you. They may be actually doing it old school wise. It could be writing an actual letter, pen to paper, not typing it. For someone, they're going to be, for a very small amount of people, they're going, <laughs> I heard absolute psychopath. They're going to be typing it on a typewriter. Um, but you've got an emperor here. Somebody here is going to be writing a letter. What's this letter got to do with what? Let me see. Let's put you down here. Let's put you there. I'll put you there. Can I get some clarity? I'm going to change decks. I would like um, some clarity what's this letter about oh it's a private letter oh someone's gonna get a love letter Ooh. so that's on the side but tell me about this job tell me about this financing the job the financing whatever it may be because for some people this is a job for other people it's not there is definitely a message that's going to come through or some sort of truth that is going to be very satisfactory for you like really satisfactory for you. You've got the Nine of Cups coming out. You have the Ace of Swords. This is the truth. This is information coming forward. The information that's going to come forward is worrying this King of Cups and this Queen of Cups because I think it outs them in some way. When I was setting up for this reading, um, I like to note down in my little... I love this sensory book. It looks like a stickle brick. A little stickle bit brick. I like to write down any downloads that come in and I noticed that there was a receipt that was sticking out from the last time that I had like a burrito bowl and I was thinking who's got receipts? Who's got receipts on what? That's what they're worried about. There's some sort of receipts. This, this information that comes forward is some, it catches them out for doing something here. What does it catch them out for doing? Putting blockages in, putting blockages in your way. Now you have here the page of wands in reverse. This may be also trying to strike fear into someone. So this is either spell work or, um, or what else? What is this? Because it does give me spell work, you candle magic. Yeah, you've got the Knight of Swords here in reverse to the Two of Pentacles, to Judgments, to the High Priestess in reverse, to the Queen of Flipping Cups, this Queen of Cups man, and then you have the Hanged Man. This Queen of Cups has been using some sort of, um, Judgment is giving me either prayer or like Holy Song or something along those lines. And you have here the Knight of Swords in reverse. Is it the Knight of Swords? Yes. So this is doing something to someone's throat chakra here. They were trying to hold something off. They were trying to slow something down when it comes to you receiving some sort of congratulation, some sort of document, some sort of victory. Oh my gosh, you've won this. The two of pentacles is doubt. They were trying to place doubt or fear. Someone may have been feeling stressed when they were leaving their home. They may have felt stressed when they were going into like a work event. Like out of nowhere, boom. It's because somebody has been doing candle magic. You've got judgment and they are reading from a holy book or they're reading from scriptures I'm hearing or from a scroll. And um, you have the high priestess in reverse. This is somebody using um, 
negative low vibrational dense energy and sending that towards someone in the collective here and it's the queen of cups this person who is seen as a mother who's seen as a nurturer who definitely wears a mask like this person has a double life they have a double life look the star in reverse and it's pretty ugly they have a double life You've got the hanged man here but there's some sort of blockage in their double life so there's something going on what is going on with this queen of cups what's this blockage page of pentacles this person doesn't like where they are yeah because you've got the nine of swords coming out as much as the king of cups may be drinking and going to the bar and not really wanting to talk to this other person the queen of cups is the one that's actually in the nine of swords energy and is kind of trying to keep the keep the peace by not arguing, by the five of wands in reverse, not making a big deal of it, not saying anything. But they have been working for quite a while here on trying to... Oh, so they're trying to transfer or transmute how they're feeling and send it to you. So this person may be in a lot of anxious energy. They may be feeling... There's something at night time that is scaring them as well. There's something at night time that is scaring them. Wow. The, the page of pentacles is about kind of... Why do I keep saying kind of? That's strange because that's not how I talk. That may be how this Queen of Cups speaks. Like they use a lot of um, fillers and like... And I'm going to say it again. And like. They use a lot of fillers and... Um, they say a lot of us, ums, uh, you know what I mean. It's like they are filling up their vocabulary to try and make it seem longer. The Page of Pentacles is someone who looks at what they have and sits with that energy because they need to foster and make that grow. But that can go either way. So with it in reverse, this may be ignoring what it is that you have always looking for something more they're not happy with what they have they were never happy with what they had the nine of cups to the page of pentacles here somebody who is they only are they're never satisfied is what i'm getting they're never satisfied this person may be having cluster headaches or um someone here needs to get their eyes tested because their glasses are not the right prescription anymore You've got the lovers coming out in reverse. Yeah, their marriage may be falling apart or their business, I heard, may be falling apart. You've got the six of swords here to the lovers. Someone felt like they made the better choice and they're regretting it now. Tell me about what this offer was that they turned down. What did they turn down? Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. King of Wands, a lot of Wands here, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, to the Three of Cups, okay, to the Six of Swords. This Queen of Cups has some sort of like side piece or lover lover or whoever it may have been. The Queen of Wands coming out to the King of Wands. This is some sort of joining. Why am I, I don't know if these people are swingers. But there's, there's something that they were offered by two other people. And it came rushing in. It came rushing in. But they said no. Because they didn't feel like whoever this, per this person or people were. That they, they were skilled enough to get the job done. To heal something. What do they want healed? You have the three of swords here in reverse. Let me put these down. And I'll be able to read the cards as I see them. The thing is, with it being to do with wands, this is action. This is movement. This is um, sexy time as well. You have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse to the Three of Swords. There is something that this High Priestess in reverse, this fake High Priestess, this Queen of Cups, was not expecting. They were not expecting you to heal from something. They were not expecting you to heal from something because this takes us back full circle, right? The victory comes in because you learn a lesson. There's some sort of lesson that you learn. You passed a test. 
So there, so it wasn't working. Their magic doesn't work on you. You are too tapped into your emotions. You're too tapped into the divine and you know too well how to ground energy that isn't yours. You've got the daughter value here with truth. Exactly. You know your worth and you know your worth when it comes to family matters. A lot of our kind of um, trauma, it definitely comes from family, right? I know that I am not a doctor. I'm not a therapist. I can't diagnose anyone. I can only go by my own experience and I can only state my opinion, okay, and messages that come through. So take it as it resonates. Um, this person didn't think that you actually were a high priestess or high priest. They didn't think that you were. They may have thought that you were, um, I heard soft. They thought you were a soft touch. They thought you were a soft touch. Crown chakra is coming out. The frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. Exactly. Someone here is an alchemist. Someone here is a massive alchemist. Can I get clarity, please, on the Knight of Swords to the Queen of Wands? What's going on here in reverse? No, I don't want those. I heard that they're accurate reads. They're accurate reads. And somebody is like accusingly pointing and going, no, they're not. You said this. You are a liar. But the solar plexus coming out, the frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life supports our sense of self, our personal power and our willpower, as well as as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. So something here was supposed to block how you set healthy boundaries, how you sought out joy, how you connected to your inner child, both the wounded and the joyful, and how to integrate them and integrate the bits that hurt back into ourselves once we've healed them. They wanted to block something when it came to your solar plexus. But there seems to have been a cog in the wheel. A cog in the wheel, that's not right. A spanner in the, in the works. I can never remember the sayings. But this victory, somebody here celebrated way too soon. They did something and then they went and got a reading and the reading told them, yes, 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 it's worked. Just wait and watch. Just wait and watch. And then they celebrated too soon. Cancer came out with feeling safe. Bring love into the situation. Your feelings, attitudes from the past about use your intuition and. So they were celebrating about someone from your past coming in that was supposed to derail you, distract you, bring in all this noise while you were trying to work in silence. It was supposed to throw you off of, I heard the scent, throw you off the scent of what exactly? And maybe it did for a moment. Maybe it did. That feeling safe is with number four is family. I don't know if there has been like candle magic or mirror magic or something along those lines to affect your heart space and how you connect with people that you may have cut off when it comes to family, when it comes to um, stable ties, when it comes to how you grew up. It could be people that you classed as your family or people who actually are blood relatives. Bring love into the situation and cornucopia. There was a want or encouragement for you to bring love into a situation that had already ended itself. The cycle had already finished because they wanted some sort of financing here. They wanted some sort of cornucopia and you've got the need for control of an obsession with and the power struggle. Somebody really struggled to place something on you and they weren't able to. You've got parasite here. They really, really struggled, expect powerful change. They thought they were going to get powerful change. It didn't work. Mercury, the awareness of many thoughts, about, um, many thoughts about or from and many words. And you've got adjacent possibilities upside down with be bold and make the first move. So someone here felt this or is going to feel this and go, this is not my energy. I ground this. I'm going to cleanse. That's why I got the message saying, keep cleansing, keep cleansing, keep cleansing. Because the question that you're asking, well, when is this person going to stop? They probably never will. They probably, this person's obsessed. If someone will go to the lengths of doing whatever they're doing, because 
of jealousy, of competition, because they think that they're going to get something. They're going to get some, there's something materially they think they're going to get. You've got empowerment coming out. The end of a tough cycle approaches. This person wants your luck in some way. They're going to keep trying. So you just continue doing what you're doing, living your life. And don't worry about how long the string is. This, the, the length of the string doesn't really matter. You've got colourless late angel in reverse. They're meditate and contemplate here. There may be a need for more mindful techniques. It doesn't have to be just meditation. I heard for someone, yes, it does. Um, there's breath work. There's guided meditations. There's a need to still your mind in a certain way. Because whoever this person is, is wishing to bring in more distractions. And I opened up this, like meditation and contemplation with Pisces there. And you have storm straight underneath. This person wants to bring chaos to your door. Don't let them. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. You've got manifestations coming through. And you've got Mercury. Communicate, analyse, let your mind tell you how to when it comes to manifestations. I think that this is also an attempt to kind of... Um, rattle your cage in what it is that you are focusing on because right now someone's manifestations are coming in very quickly because your thoughts are manifesting them and I, I know we know that excuse me confirmation but I know we already know that our thoughts and our emotions and our actions bring it into you know into reality our manifestations what it is that we want so we have to be mindful of what it is that we're thinking about or where, you know, where we're placing our, our energy. Excuse me, come here. Show the world the real you. They're trying to stop this. There's something here about dimming your light or stressing you out or worrying you. What was the end goal to this? What was the end goal to this? Awakening and a new start is coming this there's a want to stop you from having a new start why why have i been told to come over here or these ones yes okay let's have a look at you why don't they want you having this new start with this financing and stuff love like fire is coming out because whoever this queen of cups is here this there's an obsession here and I don't know if this is the quick this queen of cups is the one that's obsessed with you I had yes but not in the way that you think cold as ice so you may have ghosted this person giving them a cold shoulder or you just may not play their game you're not interested oh look friend request upside down so this person may have tried reaching out to have a friend request and you read their energy like this and was like not happening not happening this person definitely feels rejected in some way i heard i want to share it with you this person wants to share something with you what do they want to share what do they want to share with you mind you keep in mind mind you keep in mind this is the same person that is doing candle magic who do you love and dreams so uh, this person's trying to push themselves into your dreams you know time out you may have pushed them out of your dream state as well. Mm, anything else? Tell me about the screen of cups, please. Lovely pictures. This queen of cups is looking at your pictures online. Who do you love? They want to know whether or not you're with someone. You have silent cries coming out as well. They may feel jealous that you have moved on. And if you don't know this person, they have become a bit stalkerish. They don't want you to grow and move on. They don't want you getting some sort of interview or some sort of job or some sort of multiple streams of income. You have here be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change and heal and it's upside down. They don't want you to know about this blessing coming towards you. Why? why let's let's get real intent as to why healthy choices is upside down you also have acts and you have stabbed in the back so they're not making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care and being happier is in reverse please know that i don't i'm not using pronouns to um 
describe someone's gender. So if I say he, she or they, I'm picking up on energies only. We hold both masculine and feminine divine energies. It's up to you whether or not you decide to give that a gender, depending on what is happening in your life. Remember, my readings are for confirmation and clarity of what you already intuitively know. If it's not giving you that, then this isn't your reading and that is okay. We also have stabbed in the back. So this is a lack of heartbreak. They feel like you, for someone here specifically, or speci yeah, specifically, is that the right word? They feel like you did not go through the same pain as they did or the same pain I heard as their child did when you guys broke up. So for a, a, a specific amount of people that are listening to this, the King of Cups may actually be an ex of yours or the Queen of Cups could be an ex of yours. Take it as it resonates. But someone here feels like they're tr they want to get back at you. This is competition as well. This Queen of Cups has a lot of competition towards you. They feel like things that are coming to you should be coming to them. They also feel righteous in what they're doing. Maybe they feel like you treated their, their now partner um, like the Maybe, you know... Maybe this ex of yours told them one story and they only know half of it, for example. But let's find out because you have got acts here, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment. For someone here that this Queen of Cups is going around saying that you actually dated when you didn't. They're trying to remove you from this money. How are they trying to remove you from this money? Cupid's arrow is upside down. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation or meeting and hesitation is upside down. Lovely pictures, photographs, looking at your photo, missing you, nostalgia and making new memories. Okay. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Not that one. Which one? That one, that one. Let's get this one out. Well, Archangel Michael is very present. I don't know if you can hear that alarm going off. Not alarm, that siren in the background. What is this opportunity that's coming through? You've got the Magician coming out and you've got the Ace of Wands in reverse. They're trying to block resources from coming in for you. I keep hearing Petty Queen. The Queen of Cups is a Petty Queen. And you have here the Two of Swords to the Magician. This is a definite amount of resources coming in, a definite. And I've put this card, these cards down next to where it says feeling safe. Feeling safe, why? Definitely feeling safe. What are these resources? Eight of swords, these resources. Whatever it is, is slipping through the hands of this Queen of Cups. They're not going to get what they thought they were going to get. They put a lot of effort into this. They put a lot of effort into, um, I heard, either betraying you or setting you up. Knight of Wands here to the Magician. Knight of Wands to the Magician. Something is coming in very, very, very quickly for you that's going to bring in, as I thought, with this feeling safe. A lot of structure it may actually be a home it may be a house move you may be moving states but it's to do with like a job why do i keep getting a job oh hello this person's going to try and fight you for it yeah you've got the five of swords coming out you've also got the nine of um the nine of wands let me see if i can pick it up they're going to try and fight you for this or they're trying to do that right now. Nine of Pentacles to the High Priestess in reverse. Someone here is very, very codependent. This person may be a family member. Shut the front door. For someone here, this is a family member. I was wondering why I kept getting the four of wands. And then seeing lots of fours. And I've got cancer down here as well. Solar plexus for the inner child. You have truth card over here in orange for your sacral chakra, which again is to do with your family. Someone here is being haunted by something, by a receipt. What is this receipt? These receipts 
may be to do with spiritual work or something that was done on you. Page of Wands here. Nine of Wands. No, Nine of Swords, excuse me. Yeah, someone here done something to keep themselves out of trouble or to... They don't want to rock the boat. I keep hearing they don't want to rock the boat. They don't want to come forward and say something because they feel like you'll expose them. Or you have information that can expose them. So they're doing this behind closed doors. What receipt? What's the receipt? What can... What, what can the Queen of Pentacles, it's to do with finances or investments. Why would the collective have receipts on this? Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is coming out again with Parasite here. Tell me about this Parasite, please. Tell me about this Parasite they tried to place on someone. Eight of Wands to the Four of to the four of swords i'm telling you while you're sleeping they were trying to place something in through the crown i don't know if you've been waking up tired if you've not been wanting to get up if you have been not wanting to look in mirrors there's something here about while you were sleeping you have got people watching and i don't i, I don't mean physical people standing there but you know lock your doors keep yourself safe just in case right um they were sending something to, uh, to attach to you. I was going to say to attack, but to attach to you. And it was supposed to um, give, you, give you the energy of panic and woe or anxiety, make you housebound. And it, it got blocked. It got blocked. They may try it again. You've got the King of Pentacles coming out now as well. And what's underneath here? Someone healed a money wound. This is why it's not working. Someone's already healed a money wound. Okay, so the reasoning that this person's doing it is not just because, like, you know, they feel rejected. This person may have actually um, reached out with, like, a friend request and you just ignored them because you didn't know who they were or you just had a weird feeling about it with the Ace of Cups coming out here. Seven of Pentacles. Someone sits and thinks about how far they've come especially if you've been betrayed before and i'm not talking about sitting in paranoia and going oh my gosh i can't trust anyone ever again in my life but more i can read the red flags now why has this random person decided they want to be friends with me or why is this person that i'm already friends with now there's a second profile because this person here is pretending to be one of your friends on facebook or ig or whatever it may be on Twitter, I, I don't know how it works. Um, don't come for me, please. And they don't like it. They don't like they've been given a cold shoulder. I heard nothing's working. The Hierophant's in reverse. The High Priestess. Some sort of contract that they may have had with a, I heard a fifth dimensional being or with a low dimensional being has been broken because it's the parasite. There was something, again, they were trying to attach and it didn't work. With action here it was blocked it was blocked it was supposed to retrieve some sort of key or some sort of key information mm, where the dead things grow where the dead things grow a very long time ago there was a load of downloads that i got where um the dreamscape and like my astral experience was showing me um people going to almost like an opposite dimension it looked exactly like this dimension but everything was very um everything was wonky everything was just slightly wonky and slightly dark it reminded me of the upside down in um stranger things how it's the same but it's not the same and it's really effed up that energy and whatever this parasite thing is with all of those um, vines growing off the side, but they're all black and ashen. It's giving me the energy of where the dead things grow. They tried doing this and it was blocked by what? It was blocked by magic. Their magic was blocked. It was blocked by your own. It's like they're there, this high priestess, whoever, whoever I'm saying there, as in there's more than one person doing this. They're sitting around at like the, you know, the clock strikes midnight. 
and they're there all with their hocus pocus and you're asleep jumping through portals keeping yourself safe or your guides are like no that's not coming through thank you very much now you've got the emperor here the emperor to the ace of wands this is not lead i feel like there is something they were expecting you to do that would lead them to some sort of key information or key energy and i say key energy and look what comes out you have this is the sign for archangel metatron as well but they were looking for some sort of key information, key energy, key something. And you blocked them out just like you blocked this person on Facebook or on some social media. And if that didn't happen for you, it's happened for someone else. And you've got here the Seven of Cups. You saw their illusion. Empress, you saw what kind of... If you had connected with this energy in the spirit realm, it would have disempowered you. And someone here intuitively knew... Hmm. intuitively knew and said no thank you i'm good i am good give me this one let me see creativity it's something to do with your creativity there's some sort of idea it's going to come oh my bone my bones cry out when i hear your voice now this is supposed to be like a romantic thing but I feel like someone here has been attacking your throat chakra or someone in the collective throat chakra because when you speak, it hurts them. And I mean like there's some sort of weird energy harvesty thing going on. And your, your throat chakra is extremely, extremely powerful. They tried to put someone in a freezer and it didn't work. They're trying to do something to your finances done to keep you stuck blocked and stagnant your face and pick is in someone's freezer that's why i was getting the message of just continue to cleanse don't stop cleansing don't stop cleansing chaos is knocking at your door but there's no need for you to open it whatsoever lack of funds what did i say that's why someone's putting you in the freezer as well because this person is like what you you wouldn't you wouldn't want to be friends with me like you have to be seriously something going on up here to send spell work to hurt or harm someone and then try to friend request them and get butt hurt that that person doesn't want to actually be friends with you on social media they may have done something to try and manipulate manipulate your heart space make you more open to being you know um walked over in some way we do have here look yeah the second house money and work they're sending something to try and block your funds if you would like i will link underneath um a cleansing transmission for bank accounts okay it will help to remove negative juju negative kind of thought patterns that we have when it comes to our money when it comes to certain companies and bank accounts that banking accounts that we have and it will help just bring in an expansive and uplifting type of energy into that space to welcome in more abundance, just like Feng Shui. Um, so I'll have that down below for you. Now it says here for the second house, money and work, going broke, debts, fraud, tight-fisted, controlling, embezzlement, illegal transactions, losing your job, low moral compass, stealing other people's possessions, blocked from the law of abundance, um, drawing in low dense energy and entities unreliable flippant lazy repossession of home car and bankruptcy so they're really pushing for someone to lose their job there seems to be a lot here with um the king of cups is in this reading but not as much as the queen of cups the king of cups seems to be more focused on sitting and realizing they could have been part of this victory with you and that they didn't, they chose to go with the Queen of Cups because they thought that that was their match. Only to realise that they weren't. So this person may be looking at your photos. But the Queen of Cups here is really pushing at the moment to block your finances, to try and block your solar plexus. There is a truth here that they do not want getting out. They're really worried that you're going to have this receipt and that you can provide it at any point. I pray for you every night. I pray for you every night i told you this person is using a holy book at midnight on the dot they are praying and they are hexing 
no matter the distance or time we are always one so this person's trying to bind their energy to yours wow anything else in two weeks or less came out in two weeks or less what i feel like in two weeks or less something's going to be lifted if you've been having issues with your workload or having i don't know if you have you work by quota by client or if you get paid monthly or if you're paid hourly there's something about work getting easier remember for those of you who are watching this as it's being posted even though my readings are timeless we are going through a, a jupiter retrograde so things may be on the back pedal anyway and we're going to be in jupiter retrograde until february 25 i think i think this isn't about not having finances this is not about not being paid by work this is not mercury retrograde where you know things that are supposed to happen don't happen this is more about taking a moment to reassess and prioritize where your income goes what you see as abundance or luck or prosperity um this is there's a lot of growth that's happening at this time and i think that this person is not understanding that and they're definitely misunderstanding the depth of knowledge that you have about yourself. Your, and I heard you're spe specified. Why do I keep saying specific? But they, they, they have a lack of understanding about your expertise when it comes to a certain type of gift that you have. Whether you have a gift in making things grow from the earth like the Empress, whether you can talk to animals, it could be that you have the Midas touch and everything that you touch turns out just how you expect it, but it helps others too. It could be that you're clairaudient, it could be your psychic, whatever it is, they are, they're discrediting, they've been discrediting who you are and not realising the underdog that you are in the best possible way see i'm telling you they're trying to mess with your finances here visualize visualize visualizing and say no you're not getting finances you're not having this you're gonna be poor you're gonna be out on your butt and it says here obsessed um unaliving spells deviant sexual thoughts about you polyamorous love spells and sexual dreams very strange energy very very strange energy coming through now somebody here seems to be pushing very much for the crown and for the third eye um this queen of cups here this queen of cups you're being told though that even if you feel like uh finances are slightly tight or that finances are not the same as they used to be that hasn't got anything to do with this queen of cups this has got nothing to do with any type of magic that they're sending towards you this is because, again, Jupiter retrograde, you're being asked to slow down and kind of reass reassess and prioritise what's actually important to you. Um, know that you are safe, though. Your finances are safe. And in two, what's happening in two weeks or less? In four weeks or less. <laughs> you have two weeks or four weeks. So between four... four in the next... Look, in the next month here... In the next month, what's happening in the next month? Show us what's happening. Oof, in the next month, you've got eight figures or more coming in for someone here. You've got who wants cake? Uh, it's my party, I'll cry if I want to. I'll eat yours and mine. Uh, um, have my cake and eat it, I want everything. So in the next four weeks, you definitely will have somebody coming in with their hand out, especially if you have a job offer if you have some sort of win, if you have, you know, an inheritance, whatever that may be, if you have a lack of funds, you will not be like that for very long. You're not going to be like that for very long because you've healed a lot of things that would have held back this blessing from coming in for you. What do we need to know about spell work? I don't know why this is so heavy on spell work. You've got an artist coming through. So they may be trying to mess with your art, the way that you create, the sacral chakra as well. There seems to be a lot of focus on, I was going to say the higher chakras, but it seems to be that this person is either just blindly 
like going right i'm going to do the throat chakra i'm going to do the solar plexus i'm going to do the heart i'm going to do here or they have they have other people working with them because it's prayer they're doing they're using prayer of some sort and prayer is usually it would be seen as white magic and i know there's another tarot reader that said that and i really like that term you know of praying being white magic um but they've they've tainted that they've dirted it and they've turned it into like into negative dense energy stability comes from growth again they're trying to do something here when it comes to your finances i heard get gone get gone this person wants you gone focused intention on target groups chanting told you this groups chanting trapped elemental be beings heat coals and fire uh, the law of abundance is working in your favor it's upside down they are working really hard so you're being told not only do your cleansing but also look into look into your relationship with money and it doesn't mean you need to sit there and shame yourself and be like oh no everything's limited but just have like an honest and frank kind of like conversation with your higher self if you need to about your earliest memory of your parents talking about money was it positive was it negative what emotion do you remember being attached to it how did that make you feel and how has that um affected the way that you now work with money is it something that is dirty is it something that you celebrate is it something that you obsess over be honest with yourself you don't have to tell me but you know be honest with yourself because the more that you are honest in that energy with yourself, the more you start to transmute and circulate that. And it's no longer hidden. It's no longer a wound, for example, that hasn't had its beginnings in that journey of healing. Um, and whatever it is that they're sending towards you, this is going to roll off someone's back like, like, a, like water coming off a duck's back. Seriously. Anything else? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm light body and spirit egyptian energy higher realms of consciousness time to meditate protective shield divine channel of earth and cosmos and connection to angels you've also got the eye of horus here the moon protective powers come from deflecting malevolent forces i'm telling you you are protected feminine yin human nature emotions intuition magic sexual energy you are protected completely and utterly you've got expected delays here somebody this person is trying to slow down how you heal on top of that be aware of this be very very aware of this and it says 11th house social awareness the merfolk folk so that's aquarius friendly sociable strong humanitarian drive urge to be part of a bigger group that helps a cause intellect deep thinker hopeful big plans for the future tech savvy influencer social media presence and followers and underneath here you have deep sadness washes over me when our love is disconnected so this person you do seem to have more than one energy here that's quite obsessed over your growth or over um how you're expanding it's not just expanding how how quickly you're advancing in something how quickly you don't seem to fall back into old traits eighth house here in reverse gambles past enjoyment takes dangerous risks fearful of intimacy shallow dismisses deep-seated trauma uses sex to hide pain pays for sex sti std bailiffs chasing them for unpaid loans constantly asking for money spending partners um, money broke stolen inheritance so on and so forth there's a court ruling that's not going in their favour. That's why one of them's drinking and wishing that they'd picked you. And I opened the last one here to look dead and bad choices. Wow. So this there seems to be this want to push to push their fate onto you or to swap the swap fates in some way. But they're really trying to slow you down right now with spell work. 3 a.m. My kisses are always and forever yours. Okay, so this is the King of Cups coming through. This 3 a.m., it may not be midnight that this person's doing spell work. It could be 3 a.m. When the veil is thinnest, I heard. When the veil is thinnest. You've got CEO coming out. Um, right, I want to get, before I go, a couple more cards. What we got going on here? What do we need to know? concern 
someone here is concerned about their bad health and how it hasn't gone and i'm looking at the king of the king of cups now this person is concerned that they have not got better they haven't got better they thought they'd get better by now uh -uh. false person this false person pretending to be of high honor they got with someone that they thought that they thought was of high honor this person may be the one that got them sick in the first place. And they've got a child with this person now. It's official that they have a child. I don't know if their name may be on the birth certificate and they found out that the child wasn't theirs or the opposite. Their name's not on the birth certificate, but it is their child. They're entangled. They're definitely entangled with this Queen of Cups. The fact that they're both upright means that either they're still together or there's more tendrils to this. It's like an open relationship, maybe. You've got the fool coming out to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. King of Cups definitely has an issue with addiction. And they also have like this constant need to move on, to move to move to the next thing. Let's go to the next thing. Yeah, look, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Justice. I'll quite happily do things that are under underhanded or illegal or pay me under the table if it means that i can get a, like a dopamine hit of some sort this ten of pentacles here in reverse is a business gone bust or doing things and not that's like not telling the tax man for example the four of wads this person may have put their house they may have used the collateral for their hat from their house or the bank is going to remortgage their house Okay, can we can we bring this to an end now, please? Yeah, you've got here. This is the High Priestess card for now because the actual High Priestess card went underneath my washing machine and has been just taken by the abyss that is the back of the beyond. And I'm not pulling out the washing machine for one card, so I've been using this instead. Now this is in reverse. This is bringing me back to this Queen of Cups wanting to. They may have already swapped places. They may, may have already tricked this King of Cups into thinking that they were somebody who was kind and nurturing. Okay, I think I need to close down this reading now because it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. You've got the sun here to the Seven of Cups. This child may not be theirs. Any advice when it comes to cleansing the space around the collective when it comes to spell work and stuff? I heard your ancestors are covering it ancestors have got this three of rods there is no need to do anything different to what it is that you're already doing just keep doing that um the nine of pentacles is upside down to the six of rods this is more or less your ancestors saying leave it to us you can lean on us it's fine we got victory here you continue doing you if you like incense if you burn sage if you sing if you you know put on gospel music whatever it is that you do to cleanse your space and to make yourself feel protected continue to do that but do not feel like you have to up it or change things because your protection is already very very strong i'm going to leave it there i really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know if you are new to my channel and this resonated and you'd like to see more and when i post i would love you to hit on the like the subscribe and on the notification bell so you can see just that if you are a returning subscriber soul family hearts kisses um thank you so much for being here i appreciate you guys know that my readings are open at the moment all information for readings including pricing and the services that i offer along with my email are down below in the description box um what was i going to say anyone advertising absolutely anything in the comment section is a scammer please do not get uh, fooled by any of them it doesn't matter if they are advertising um, stock throats, brokers, um, underwear, whatever it is. It's all lies, okay? Just block and report them. Know that I will be going live this evening at 8pm instead of actually uploading. I'm going to act, I'm going to go live this time for everyone so you can kind of see what my live readings are like because my live readings are only for members, membership people only. But I thought that I would share at least one with everyone so you can get a vibe. 
Uh, the first five people to come in and just say hi. If you stay around at the end of the reading, you can have a three card pull with a question that you want and it will be in real time. How awesome is that, right? If you would like to um, be part of the membership and see videos that you cannot see anywhere else, be part of live readings that you can't get anywhere else because this is going to be a one-off. Have a look down below. Join, join, join. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye.